Hello, you are watching part one of a three-part free DaVinci Resolve tutorial. This tutorial series has been put on by Somerville Media Center. My name is Stuart Rolke, one of the media coordinators at Somerville Media Center, and I will be showing you how to download, install, and import footage into DaVinci Resolve 16. Okay, so step one, you just have to go to the DaVinci Resolve website, which is right here. And then from this page, there's this very secret, almost hidden download button right here. So click that. So you're gonna wanna download DaVinci Resolve 16 over here. You don't want DaVinci Resolve Studio because that is the um, paid version. So we want the free version, which is on the left. Hooray! And then click your operating system down below. That will bring you to this really annoying page where you have to enter your details, but really you don't. You can just enter whatever it is that you want to enter. It doesn't really matter. And then just click register and download. <sighs> okay, now that DaVinci Resolve has downloaded, we are going to open it up. And then double click the install, which will be a .dmg or maybe a .exe. So now DaVinci Resolve has installed. So we're gonna open it up by double clicking here. It might also be, oh wait, no, it's not. And if I have to do Korean food, I won't use chicken. I'll just do okay, and DaVinci is finally resolved, so we're just going to open that up in our Applications folder. Now, because I've already had DaVinci installed on this computer before, it's not prompting me with the same things that you might be prompted with, but I'm going to go through the same exact steps, just in a slightly different way. So I'm gonna go down to here, which is new database, which you might already be prompted with after installing. I'm gonna go to create, make sure disk is checked. We're gonna have to give this database a name. So I'm just gonna name it DaVinci Resolve. And then we're gonna have to pick a directory. So this is just where certain elements will be cached while you're using DaVinci. Um, we're just going to put it in documents, create new folder. I'm just gonna name this DaVinci Resolve as well. And click open. And once you click create, it might take a second to load. But now we have a database. So again, this is just where pre-rendered files might be or just essential files that DaVinci needs in order to work properly. And I'm just gonna start with new project, um, which if you're installing from scratch might be the next thing that you get prompted with. We're just gonna name this DaVinci tutorial. Now you might have also seen a pop-up that asks you what keyboard layout you'd like to start with. I'm more familiar with using Premiere Pro, so I chose that as my default layout. But if you're familiar with Final Cut, you can also use that as your keyboard layout. And if you accidentally chose the wrong keyboard layout, that's very easy to fix. So in order to do that, you just have to go to DaVinci Resolve, Keyboard Customization, and then this dropout right here. So again, I'm on Premiere Pro, but I can switch back to Final Cut and DaVinci Resolve also has its own default keyboard layout, but I would recommend going with Final Cut or Premiere just because some of the hotkeys you might learn while using this will then apply to Final Cut or Premiere Pro if you happen to switch to either of those after. And then click Save. 
What is it doing? <laughs> <Let's> see. <coughs> oh, and click close. Okay, so that was a lot of setup, but at this point, moving forward, everything is a lot easier. So the keyboard layout is now saved, and the database is saved, so now starting new projects and all of that is super simple. Okay, and the last thing we are going to cover today is importing footage and audio. So in order to do that, you'll want to go to File, Import File, Import Media, and then navigate to what you'd like to import. So you can either import one at a time by clicking uh, just the audio file or just the video file, or you can hit Shift and click multiple files and then click Open. Anytime you import media into a new project, it'll always ask you if you would like to change the project settings. I find that it's generally better to just click change because then the project is already set up for the media you have. The only time you would click don't change is if you have multiple sizes of media that you're importing. So if you have, for example, 4K footage and 1080p footage and you're putting them in the same project, then you'd want to have more control. But for now, we're just going to click change. And now the imported footage is available in the media pool. If you double click a clip, you can hit space and watch a preview of it. Or if you double click audio, you can listen to a preview. Now we can either take one piece of footage or one piece of audio or drag over both pieces and bring them into the timeline down here. And again, if you hit space, you can watch the content. But already some of you may be noticing that this doesn't look anything like Premiere or Final Cut or anything you're used to. And that's because DaVinci has multiple workspaces for doing different types of editing. So if you look all the way down at the bottom of the DaVinci window, you'll see that we have Cut, which is the mode we're in right now. Um, there's the Editing Workspace, Color Workspace, um, the Deliver Workspace, which is for exporting. But what we're in right now, the Cut Workspace, is only really good for precision editing. If you're used to Premiere or Final Cut, you might want to move into the Edit Workspace. And there, now it looks a lot more like Final Cut or Premiere. And there you have it. There's installing DaVinci Resolve, starting a new project, importing footage, putting the footage into the timeline, and then moving into the various workspaces. Now, if you feel ready to start editing in DaVinci Resolve, you'll want to move on to part two of our three-part video series. Again, my name is Stuart. I'm one of the front desk media coordinators at Somerville Media Center, and we thank you for watching.